Meta's Llama 3.3 has made quite the impression, combining power with surprising efficiency. At first glance, 70 billion parameters sounds massive, but what's even more intriguing is how it stacks up against its predecessor, Llama 3.1, which had a staggering 405 billion parameters. It's like comparing two high-performance sports cars. One delivers incredible results while using much less fuel and space. In this video, we'll explore how Llama 3.3's efficiency is redefining the AI world, Meta's big picture goals for AI and VR, and what it all means for developers and everyday users. Let's dive in. Mark Zuckerberg recently revealed that Llama has become the most popular AI model globally. With over 650 million downloads, its reach is astonishing, especially when you think about the growing number of developers using these open source tools. And that's the key, open source. Meta isn't just sharing these tools for the sake of generosity. By being the foundation for countless AI projects, Meta positions itself as the backbone of the industry, gaining significant influence over time as more developers build on their platform. Beyond AI, Meta is also pushing to expand its VR technology. The goal? To set the industry standard. Imagine if Meta dominates both AI and VR. They're not just shaping the future of digital experiences. They're building the framework for how we interact in the metaverse they've been hyping up. To make this vision a reality, Meta is partnering with other companies. The strategy is simple. The more people rely on Meta's tools, whether for AI or VR, the more embedded Meta becomes in shaping the digital world we live in. Zuckerberg also shared that Meta is building a new AI data center in Louisiana and launching an undersea cable project to support all this growth. Meta AI already has around 600 million active users each month, but it's important to remember that Meta has over 3 billion users across Facebook, Instagram, Messenger, and WhatsApp. They've worked hard to weave AI into all of these apps, even encouraging users to try out new AI, features like generating images or exploring other AI-powered experiences. While these efforts might boost usage numbers, the question remains, is it meaningful if people aren't using these features on their own? It's a fair point. AI assistance in social apps might not feel natural to everyone. Sure, you can create cool images or ask questions, but for many, there's no strong reason to use them regularly. However, it's still early days. The real value of AI might become more apparent as VR becomes more mainstream. These AI, VR, wearables, and even undersea cables are all part of Meta's bigger vision. Now, let's get into the technical details. Llama 3.3 is open source and supports multiple languages, including English, German, French, Italian, Portuguese, Hindi, Spanish, and Thai. It's been trained on a huge 15 trillion tokens, a massive jump from Llama 2's 2 trillion. This increased training means Llama 3.3 performs much better, particularly when it comes to reasoning, coding tasks, solving STEM problems, and answering trivia. One of the standout features of this model is its ability to handle very long pieces of text, up to 128,000 tokens, which is roughly the length of a good-sized book. This means Llama 3.3 can track longer documents and keep up with what's happening across many pages. Meta has also fine-tuned the model to ensure it runs smoothly. For example, it uses a method called Grouped Query Attention GQA, to make better use of memory, allowing it to work faster when generating answers or predictions. GQA helps make Llama 3.3 more scalable, which means it's cheaper to run. Meta says it can be incredibly cost-effective for developers, with the cost of generating text as low as one cent per million tokens, much cheaper than other models like GPT-4 or Claude 3.5 in many cases. And it's not just cheaper to run, there are big savings when it comes to hardware too. The older 405B parameter model needed up to 2 terabytes of GPU memory to run. In comparison, Llama 3.3, with its 70 billion parameters, only needs tens of gigabytes. This could save developers hundreds of thousands of dollars on GPU costs alone, not to mention major savings on electricity. Imagine reducing GPU costs from something like $600,000 to a much more affordable figure. Llama 3.3 is also available under a special community license. While it's mostly free and open source, there's a catch. If your company has over 700 million monthly active users, you'll need a commercial license from Meta. Plus, if you use Llama, you need to credit Meta with something like Built with Llama and follow their acceptable use policy. This policy is in place to ensure the model isn't used to create harmful content. 
carry out cyber attacks or break any laws. So while it's open, there are rules to keep things in check. Meta has also put a lot of effort into making Llama 3.3 safe. They've used supervised fine-tuning and reinforcement learning with human feedback to make sure it's both helpful and secure. On top of that, they've added extra protections like Llama Guard 3 and Prompt Guard to prevent the model from generating harmful content. They've also done extensive testing, known as red teaming, where security experts try to trick the model into doing something bad so they can fix any vulnerabilities. Meta is serious about addressing potential risks, from child safety issues to preventing misuse in cyber attacks. Meta has also considered the environment in the development of Llama 3.3. Training this model took a huge amount of GPU time, about 39.3 million GPU hours using H180 gigabyte hardware. This resulted in around 11,390 tons of CO2 equivalent emissions. However, Meta offset these emissions by using renewable energy, reaching a net zero carbon footprint for the training phase. They've even made these energy use details publicly available, so others can see the environmental impact of these massive AI models. When it comes to performance, Llama 3.3 shines on many benchmarks, often outperforming similar models. On the MMU test, which checks knowledge across various topics, it achieves around 86% accuracy. For math problems, like those in the MATH benchmark, it scores about 77%. In coding tasks, such as the human evil test, it passes 88.4% of the time, which is quite impressive. It also performs well in multilingual reasoning, with a score of 91.1% on the MGSM test. While it may not always surpass the largest models like GPT-4 in coding tasks, it comes very close. Llama 3.3 is available on several platforms, including Meta's website, Hugging Face, GitHub, and others. Developers can easily integrate it with tools like Langchain or Weights and Biases, and it works well with cloud services like AWS, GCP, and Azure. If you want to fine-tune it for your specific needs, Meta offers the TorchTune library. This makes Llama 3.3 flexible for a range of uses, from language understanding and coding assistance to potentially VR applications in the future. Safety is also a major priority for Meta. They want developers to take responsibility for how they use the model. For instance, if you connect Llama 3.3 to external services, it's your job to ensure nothing harmful happens. The model itself is like a building block. You can use it to create something useful and safe, or something harmful. Meta provides guidelines, best practices, and extra tools like Prompt Guard and Code Shield to help developers avoid dangerous outputs or insecure code. Meta is betting big on open source AI models like Llama 3.3 to power the future of technology. By combining AI with their work in virtual reality, VR, such as their wrist based devices that measure muscle signals to control virtual objects, Meta is laying the groundwork for the next generation of computing. They're not just building an AI model, they're setting the stage for a future where AI and VR seamlessly work together. So, will Llama 3.3 be the go-to choice for AI and VR interactions? Meta is hoping it will be. Right now, it's more affordable and efficient than many popular closed source models. But the real test will come from developers, how they use it, the apps they create, and how users respond. Meta's Llama. 3.3 is already making waves, offering impressive performance, efficient use of resources, and open source features that make it a top pick for developers and users alike. Its language skills, ability to handle long texts, and smooth, cost-effective operation are making it a game changer. Whether you're working on AI projects or looking to enhance your digital tools, this model could be a great asset. Meta's vision is shaping not just the future of AI, but also VR and digital experiences. With Llama 3.3, they're opening the door to a new world of possibilities in technology. So, what do you think the future of AI and VR will look like? Dive into Meta's Llama 3.3, and you might be surprised by how this model is changing the tech world. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to stay updated with more exciting and informative videos.